integrity, okay? And integrity is like such a big deal in bartending. It is good to do your job the way you are supposed to do it, okay? So if someone says, you know, we do our house pour an ounce and a quarter and you're over here doing an ounce and three quarters or two ounces and a quarter, um, you know, unless it's your friend, you know, sometimes you can, I'm just being honest, you could slip up a little bit. And this is why I'm such a big fan of jiggers because jiggers, unless you're like a professional mixologist and you absolutely are guaranteed that pour, it is just better to use a jigger. You know, I, I don't really like seeing anybody bartending under three years, probably even under five years use, not using a jigger because it's just better to, um, make sure that you are getting the pour that is your job to serve to the other person, you know? Along with that, I would say integrity of, I'm just gonna say it, not stealing bottles. Um, I've seen it a million times, barbacks even, you know what I mean? If you're a barback and you're doing that, you're not gonna be a good bartender, okay? If you can't handle just carrying some bottles over to your bar without thinking of, hey, I should steal this for my party next weekend, you're not gonna be a good bartender. You have no integrity, you have no respect, you have no, you know, nothing for the company. You know, alcohol is very expensive, okay? Getting a liquor license is very expensive. And as a bartender, if you're not taking that seriously, um, you're probably gonna get in trouble and people are just gonna not respect you. Personally, as I've mentioned, I, you know, did have integrity. I will be very honest. Um, I did work for a nightclub one time and I probably will say later on this whole story, but essentially homegirl was a little too new to the industry and had a little bit too much fun because everyone else around her was having fun. And so I thought, oh my God, I can have this much fun too. And I was, but I was having fun to the point where I should not be working. I should be actually out having fun. Sorry, that was my bunnies. They're, they're freaking out about it too. So I'm just being very honest. Like I said, I have been in that situation. It's not fun. And I look back and I'm like, I'm so glad I changed because truthfully, if you can't change from mistakes that you've made bartending one time, there's a good chance it's just not gonna work out for you. If you can't fix little things like getting drunk behind the bar, over your job, you have a problem, okay? That's not a good thing. I wouldn't recommend that. The other thing I would say that I think is good is uh, having some math skills, you know? You are using money, you are using pores, you are using measurements, you are thinking about how many people sat at that bar, where did they sit this person, you know? Just understanding your surroundings, being aware, um, and being able to do, it really is a math, you know, whether it's numbers or whether it's where is somebody or how long have they been here or how many shots have they had, you know, it's understanding that. That's really what I'm trying to get to. Having compassion, that's another thing I've talked about, uh, reading cues from other people, uh, also being very understanding that some people, as I've mentioned, do go to the bar to get fucked up because something serious is going on in their life. I've been there. Someone else has been there, and most likely if you're a bartender, you've experienced this as well. Um, just have compassion for people. You know, most bartenders, uh, most bartenders that I personally like and gear towards to are ones that are, you know, sarcastic. I take very serious life moments into light moments, you know, like I, uh, like death, for example. Like, you know, it's, it's not a funny thing, but I will try my best to make it as light as I can. Um, people are going through some real things. People have been divorced. People are going through breakups. People are maybe even want to kill themselves, you know? Um, of course, a lot of the times you're not going to have that. You're not always going to have that, but it's important to have that kind of quality, I would say, in, in general. You know what I mean? Next, um, I've already put uh, being clean and organized. My last point, I'm so sorry this video is so long, is going to be that you are going to need to have this is the last thing I have on here. Maybe I'm missing a few, but we'll get back to that another time. Um, the last thing's going to be a bullshit radar. Um, I would say bartenders need to understand that people are going to walk up to the bar and people are going to test you. People are going to give you their ID or their ID and try and, you know, boss you around, like, you know, get mad at you for not making a drink or get mad because you don't know how you're doing or just try and test you in any way, you know what I mean? Just to be an asshole. I might have done this a couple times just to be smart, you know, but it doesn't mean I'm trying to hurt the bartender. I, I, I mostly am trying to challenge them or ask themselves, like, why is she asking me to, 
to make this drink. I don't, I have no idea what she's talking about. And it's like, well, let me tell you what it is. So now you know, first of all, now I've just helped you share some information, but I'm not going to the bar and being like, hey, I asked for three shots and you just made me two. You don't even know what you're doing. Like, how dare you overcharge me or, you know, you didn't pour enough like that, you know? Leave it up to the bartender. That's what I'm saying. Again, it leads back to having integrity. It leads back to doing your job right. It leads back to caring about other people. It just is like a circle effect. You know, you want to have an effective relationship with your guest and you want to have a relationship, effective relationship with the company and what you're doing. So all in all, it's just better to just do what you're supposed to do. As I've mentioned, have a bullshit radar. If you need to stop a guest from drinking, then definitely set, you know, tell them like, hey, you know what, you've had way too much to drink. You know, you're not gonna ask me for another Coors Light if you wanted. You're not gonna ask me for an alcoholic, non-alcoholic beer. You're just done, you need to get out, you're being disrespectful, you're throwing things, you're being rude. These things happen, you know? If you're a bartender, obviously you know if you're um, not a bartender, but thinking about it, these are things that could happen. And if you're not ready for something like that, then you know, if you're the kind of person where someone gets mad at you and you're literally about to like slam the bottle and like cut their head off, like, oh, let's go fight outside. Like you're probably, that's, I would not want to, I would not want someone to serve my drink who acts like that. I'm just being very straight up. Of course, there is a time and a place for that. Okay. If you want to be an asshole outside of work, that's your business, but at work, be at work, be a good person. You know, people are trusting you to to make their drink and to have a good experience and to help them with, with whatever it is they need, whether it is a drink, whether it is a small talk, whether it is, you know, whatever it is, it's, it's your job to be present for them. So I genuinely want to keep this going and show you guys what I got from the mall today, but I won't, so. Okay. So since I decided to make a second video, I also decided that I was gonna show you guys what I got at the mall, which is kind of ridiculous, but I don't really care because I love fashion, I love things. Anyway, um, I did go to the mall in Vegas, the fashion show mall. I haven't really actually been in there. So it was really nice to actually go and to like hang out. I really needed to go there specifically to Nordstrom because I wanted to get my foundation. Bougie, yes. This is Chanel, this is La Tante, Ultra La Tante. But this is my shade and I usually have two. I have one in my purse, I have one at home. And this was free by the way, okay? Nordstrom notes, just saying. I had a gift card that I needed to use and also they had 15% off today. So what better time to buy a new blush? I'm wearing it right now, so it kinda looks nice. Um, I like bougie makeup if you didn't know and that's mostly because well first of all it's, I feel like it's better for your skin uh, quality is par I love European products okay I'm just a big fan this right here though I actually just went to the Playboy store last week as well the OVO store last week as well I got the cards I got a shirt and I got the boxers and they're actually sold out of almost everything um, but they were nice enough to call me over this weekend when I was at Beyond to let me know that they got their win collection in, like their newer win collection. Um, and so I just thought I'd pop in today since it was like right next to the mall. And I got some other things because I was like kind of thinking about it, but I was like, what the hell? You know, I'm, I'm ready to go. So, why not? so dumb, you guys are gonna be like, what the heck? But don't care. I did get the um, OVO Mickey Mouse lunchbox yes this is like an old school lunchbox this is a good size by the way i am loving this size i genuinely want to use this for work um yes it's bougie but it opens up pretty big like that it's got a lot of space i can put fruit in there i'm already thinking of all the stuff i can put in here for work um and it's cute you know like is it bougie absolutely but i love it and i know i'm gonna use it i don't know do you guys want to know prices on those things I don't, think, I don't think I'll talk about it, it's not a big deal. Well, my second thing is this, and I'm not gonna open this right now because it's not necessary, but um, I picked it up in the store and I was like, towel, and they are like, yes. And I opened it up wide, it was so large, it literally was longer than me. I put it like that, it was longer than me. So this thing is like six feet tall, maybe even taller than that, I'm not sure. It just was large, and I, I love large towels because I hate 
like when I'm laying on a towel and your feet are sticking out or like your head is sticking out and like, I hate that. I want like a big towel where I could just like be in the towel. And this is the one, not only does it have this print, but it also has this gold color on the other side. It's reversible. So it's black owl on the other side, which like I said, I'm not gonna open it, but they said basically that they don't really sell it anymore. It's kind of something that they get sometimes. And I was like, sold, just give it to me. I really want it. Thank you so much again for watching. Oh, Chanel also gave me like a bunch of samples. Like they gave, I love Chanel. They gave me like mascara and perfume and stuff like that. They always do that. And I love that they do that because I always use it um, for traveling, for on the go, all those things. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'm so glad I got to show you guys what I bought as well as share with you my bartender tips. I don't think this video should be any longer than it is, so I'm going to just close it out right here. But thank you again, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, Lady Vichelle.